because we're back with more Super Robot Wars 30. Also, yes, I did get goose today. So yeah, we got foisted into Kilimanjaro, I think. Is that an emergency mission, unfortunately? Let's see, without equal... Platinum Lucifer? What the fuck? So, I think, yeah, we said we were gonna do these two today, because Iron Flower in the Wild, it's pretty obvious what that is, and then Ultraman in Worlds Unknown is... It's, it's in the name, so... So that is also the song for a particular Gundam is all oh, yeah. Definitely got some good bangers in there. Also, hold on a second. Because I fucking forgot a certain suit. No no no. Combat BGM assignment. Where is... Uh... <clears throat> there we go. So that being the theme song for that's fine. How did I do this before? You can change it too, yeah. How did I get some of my custom shit before? I actually don't remember. Oh, the Ultraman one's in here and see it. Rage of... Oh, that's a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> that's okay, though. figure it out later because I don't actually remember right now. That's fine. So nothing for our prerequisites. That being said, we'll probably do Ultraman first. Then we'll move into IBO after that. Alright, after the DVD in Ice Island, the Light Factor Inheritor comes to this world. I heard Houston has been a sp seen a spike in DVD activity. Yeah, I'm guessing we're headed there to check for displacements. Do you think we'll meet someone new this time? Ordinarily, DVDs displacing multiple people would be like lightning striking twice, but... 
but we've seen it happen, like, constantly. I guess sometimes truth can be stranger than fiction. Hmm. Hey, Yuta, still with us? What's up? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I'm just feeling really anxious all of a sudden. All GKA members, we've caught sign of a massive DBD near Houston Photon Power Plant. Wait, a massive DBD? That means a more displaced company, right? The dry target is heading there at full speed. All hands maintaining second level alert status. Please don't be an evil robot. Please don't be an evil robot. <laughs> it's always GK being like, don't let me have to fight some motherfucker. Just, no. <laughs> Ultraman in Worlds Unknown. Oh, here comes the funky filter. Oh god. What is happening? What the hell? Where am I? Did I get sucked into a wormhole again? And worse, I don't have my Ultraman suit this time. Shinjiro. But... What a beautiful light. Wait, no. Pull yourself together, Shinjiro. Let's see if these people can tell me where I am. Hello? That dark light. It's the same thing that swallowed me. Who's it gonna be this time? Motoboshi? Hokuto? Oh. Of course it couldn't be that lucky. It's those alien bioweapons. Did that dark light bring them here too? So I'm guessing these are the... His own enemies. Crap, they're on to me. I can't talk to them, so I have to fight. But I can't contact the HQ, so I don't think I can call in my suit. Whatever. Trying is better than standing here. Here goes nothing. Hey. My suit. It came. Okay, now I can fight. I don't know where I am, but I do know I'm Ultraman. And that's what counts. The size of Ultraman makes him an agile unit, but he's got low HP, so don't take too many risks with him. Immediately, you just gotta foist him in there. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeet ourselves to doom. The Ultraman! Yeah, it's just all in all caps. Can we actually hit anything here? No. That being the case, we'll probably just chill there then. Wow, that is a shot down. Legit. They only know how to destroy. I have to take care of them. I don't care where we are. I put a, I'll put a stop to you all. Oh, big, big dino thing. The ultimate bio weapon. So I Oosh. Some leap slashery things. Ultraman. Shit. Just because it's not necessarily worth the risk. <laughs> okay. Still moving in. But they're also moving in in really weird directions. To be honest. Oh, actually, zero percent. Can hazard that for now. I think he has to get closer for his other stuff. But damn, that was a crit. Nice. Specium blade. He's starting to get his momentum. Those are kind of weird.
Okay, that's all of them. I was fighting them before that Dark Light got me too. And Motoboshi and Hokuto were there. What happened to them? Oh, of course, the fucking <laughs> quest and dealers. It's those robots from before. Oh shit. Oh, guess I should have seen that coming. <laughs> right back at you, bitch. Is that the cavalry? Hey, it's the crew. I'm gonna hazard Ernie just because I want to see whether or not his spirit stuff fucks things up. If so, then I'll just leave him in the back. But hopefully not, because one of those other missions does involve him. He also had these two kicking around. Did I actually get the, uh... Where's the Just Spenced? Well, I started on it, but I didn't get the full thing. Also, our, um, as you can see, our capacity for upgrades ticked up quite a bit. Alright. Get him up to snuff a little bit here. the pilot actually isn't like anywhere. Well, for starters, fucking Pacho is supposed to be in there. And I think we actually put Oliver in the Shikikai. That won't be relevant for now, but like, just to keep it in mind for later. Alright, let's go. Detecting enemies in combat with an unknown individual? A what now? Well, I mean, it's under two meters in size, sir. It's kind of tiny. Small dude. Someone in a normal suit. No, some sort of power armor? Nothing even, nothing even kind of like this is registered in the Drystalker's database. Whoever they are, they must have been displaced through the DBD. But they're being attacked by the Quaesters. Do you copy? This is Commander Meets of a Grey Valley of the GKA. We're here to provide assistance. Uh, you're talking to me, right? I appreciate it. Seriously. Would you be willing to identify yourself? Um, sh mm, no, scratch that. I'm Ultraman. Ultraman? D did you hear that, Yuta? That guy says he's Ultraman! Uh, Utsumi, that doesn't quite look like the Ultra Series stuff you're into to me. He's Ultra enough in my book. Oh, pinch me. I must be dreaming. I'll pinch you if it'll make you pipe down. Ultraman here. This can't just be a coincidence. Wait, was he... was Ultraman in some of the older stuff? Ultraman. The forces attacking you are extremely dangerous. Please fall back behind us. I appreciate the concern, but I'll be fine. After all, I'm Ultraman. Um... Oh man, could you hear the Ultra mic drop? This guy is next level! No, but seriously, those robots could step on him like an ant. He'll be fine. After all, he's Ultraman. Hibiki. All units, support Ultraman and intercept the enemies. You know what? I should have brought out Gridman, actually. <laughs> After a line like that, I can't let them down. Here goes nothing. Ow. 
Alright, moment of truth. You can attack from here? With what? Oh. Damn. You don't even need your spirit shit for that. They'll probably have interactions after the actual sortie itself. Typically, whether or not they're in the ship or not, those sort of things don't change unless they're on the enemy's side. So... Nothing, nothing really lost, I don't think. These guys are having a hard ass time actually hitting people. Nice crit. for this though. Actually not enough to to finish unless she gets the crit maybe, but uh Wow, four ninety one in a dream. Feeling that approach gap. Some of them might move forward towards Ultraman anyway. Just in case. No. Wow, they all whooshed in this way. They're like, nah, fuck that dude. <laughs> That being said, you can boost dash, but I don't know if he's gonna have... Yeah, like, he's in there now, but he's not close enough. Game Valor. 
Aw, oh, that sucks. Hold on. Didn't actually hit again for without moving. <laughs> You get enough of Uso yeeting himself across the stage. <laughs> Vic. Good old victory. Oh shit. No. Oh wow. Emerald Typhoon would actually finish it. Take your high to suit! It's you! Well, else he gets the crit. Damn. <laughs> It's the first turn. Oh god. <laughs> Fucking Uso's just over there like, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> just sails across the fucking map. Constantly being outranged or just like not being able to finish stuff is kind of rough. You should be able to. Really? You can't reach from there, huh? I guess he doesn't have the morale yet. Alright. Genie should be, should be able to finish this guy. Her second, her second song is actually really good. Smush her in there. There you go. Like how Ernie literally just did two giant fooshes and got to just chill in the back line the entire time. Like, no problem. Ultraman didn't really get to do shit. <laughs> we did it. All house cells confirmed destroyed. Ultraman definitely seems to live up to his name of watching other people do shit for him. Yes. <laughs> Are you all right, Ultraman? I'm fine. Just got a little crazy there. We've taken a number of people in similar circumstances into safe custody in the GKA. What do you mean similar circumstances? We believe that you have been displaced here from a parallel universe. Displaced from a parallel universe? So I'm... I'm in another world? Oh my god! That's all we currently know about the phenomenon that brought you here. I... uh... It must be a lot to take in. Let us know if there's anything we can do. It's not... well, it is a lot to take in, but... I had a feeling that it was something like this. I'm just glad you all are around when you were. Indeed. He's taking this rather well. He might be younger than we thought. <laughs> what? 
From your description, it sounds like you're from an Earth fairly similar to this one. So that roughly confirms our suspicions. You were displaced from what we'd consider a parallel universe. And in this world, Ultraman never appeared. Excuse me for asking, but does anyone on your planet look like you? But, well, not regular Earthlings anyway. Regular ones? Are you not an Earthling? That's, uh, complicated. For reasons. And, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> it's a suit. See? My real name is Shinjiro Hayata. Thank you for saving me. Shinjiro Hayata. And I'm, well, an Earthling too, basically. Why did you keep your helmet on? Why did you give us a code name? I just... Are you kidding me, Ranald? Everyone knows a hero never reveals their secret identity. Uh, Utsumi, you can't just barge in on the captain. Uh, come on, this guy is spinning all, on all kinds of tradition. Well, guilty as charged, I'm afraid. On my Earth, it actually is a secret that I'm the one doing the Ultraman's heroics. But the way I figure it, that doesn't matter if this is a completely different world. I see. So we'll just have everyone call you Shinjiro then? It, yeah, that'd be fine. Wow, his attitude changed on a dime. Under that mask, it looks like he's just a regular kid. Listen, Shinjiro. Yes? I, as I explained, we're trying to investigate these dimensional incidents. We should be able to gather information that would help you return to your world of origin. We have other dimensional drifters who have joined the GKA. They're helping us in hopes of resolving the situation and returning to their own homes. It's a tempting offer, but do I understand right that this is a warship? That's correct. And would coming aboard mean that I had to be involved myself in this world's wars? Well, how you handle our conflicts is entirely up to you. And as much as we would appreciate your help, we have no intention of forcing you to do anything. Oh, okay. You would be most welcome to help out if you agree to what we're doing, of course. Isn't that right, Captain Mitsuba? Yes, that's it in a nutshell. Hibiki. Wow, Yuta, that was smooth. Sorry, but who are you again? My name is Yuta Hibiki. Welcome to, to the team, Shinjiro. Thanks, Yuta. By the way, Yuta, Rika, and I are the Gridman Alliance. Gridman. He's a hyper agent who fights for peace across the world. A hyper agent. All right, Gridman Alliance. Why don't you help Shinjiro get his bearings? Yes, ma'am. Come on, Shinjiro. I bet you're dying to get out of that stuffy suit. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say no to a shower. Parallel Universes, this GKA organization. A hyper agent in my real identity. Part of me is kind of scared, but part of me is actually psyched. Smoking like a true isekai protagonist, I guess. Meteor Emblem. Huh. Ginny just chilling and making ace, no big deal. Alright, so relatively quick. We got Ultraman now, yay! Now, I, I don't know if they're gonna give us a runaround for Mika or not. We'll just have to see. The man they call Seven. During a dangerous investigation, Shinjiro and Yuta encounter a new visitor. Ah, okay. Let's do this one first, though. This is kind of the middle of nowhere, isn't it? I get... I can guess why the GKA would come out here. Yep, you got it. We're here to investigate the DVDs that apparently occur frequently around here. And I mean, there is a cute little city just south of here. They deserve to feel safe, just like everyone else. I wonder who's gonna get displaced this time. It sounds like you're looking forward to it. I mean, think about it. If we can convince whoever pops out to join us, the GKA will only get stronger. In a sense, the DVDs are a good thing. Yeah, I'm sure the displays totally agree. Nothing like being torn away from home with maybe no hope of going back. Rika's right. Try to put yourself in their shoes. None of them wanted this. Uh, you're right. Sorry. I'll try to think before I speak next time. More importantly, there's no rule that says every displaced person is going to be on our side. No kidding. What if one of... What if the one we get is some kind of alternate dimension villain? We've been lucky thus far, but things could be different next time. Why does it sound like we're actually going to have to fight him? 
All GKA members, we've caught signs of a massive DBD in near Phoenix. Wait, a massive DBD? That means more displaced company, right? The dry target is heading there at full speed. Second level alert statuses and all that things. Hope you find someone who's easy to talk to. Easy to talk to is... I, I guess that's one way to put it. Iron Flower in the Wilds. So who attacks on, on, <laughs> on the bat? It's Mika. Yeah. He do it for free. Huh. Another weird place. Orga. Akihira. Shina. Nothing. Still no contact. That dark light. It's the same thing that swallowed us. Hey. Hmm. It's Galhorn. Yo, Galhorn's here? What's going on here? We were descending to Mars when that black light surrounded us and... Commander, look! Tekadon mobile suit dead ahead! Tekadon. Sooner or later, they're going to bring chaos to the Earth Spear. We have to deal with them now. <laughs> like, I don't know where we are, but fuck this guy. This is supposed to be a recon mission, but there's only one of them. We could... <laughs> oh, man. Famous last words right there. It's just one mobile suit. How could it... How could it possibly get any worse? It, it can't, right? Not at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our victory will bring more glory to the name of Master Eok. Guess they want to fight. Not that I mind. They're showing signs of aggression. Subdue them at once. God, it makes me sad that they don't have, like, premium versions of some of these songs. I might have to go grab this one, too. Although, this song will probably get muted a lot. <laughs> this one, not so much. Here it goes. What? Too slow. Venom Barbatos Lucas Rex specializes in close range bunginess. Pay attention to its distance relative to the enemies on the map. Yeah, this is another song that I should probably download the actual version of. Maybe find like a shortened one. It just cuts right into the, um... Right into the chorus or something. Give them the fucking bunk. Can I kill him? Yup. Oh no, the animation's off. Fuck. Am I supposed to fight without Orga? What's even the point? <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. Because they had the laminate or whatever. Ow, 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 ow. At the hose of Barbara's cockpit each mission. Oh god. I can feel it in my gut. This isn't Mars. What am I supposed to do without Orga? What are you doing, Mika? Keep- why are you there? Orga? Sorry, it took so long to reach you. It's fine. You made it. Now I can fight. Hey, go, Mika. I don't know where we ended up, but we're going to make it through like we always do. Got it. Gurren Lagan. well, I mean, we have a Gurren. But not the actual series itself. You get to see the bonk. Mika, those Galhorn morons are too stubborn to realize what kind of mess we're in. Stay sharp. They only seem to care about taking you down. Got it. Not like they're anything to worry about. That one of my bestest buddy is here. Ow. Get him. Not like this. 
or not. So pretty much the same as he was in G-Gen. Tail blades like. Since they had zero beam attacks, yeah. Anything that normally has like that kind of coating, they'll do well against. So yeah, they'll be heavy metal killers. Especially since I think in relation their size is smaller too. So they'll be more agile. Bunch of morons. You should have tried to figure things out instead of barreling right at us. So, what's next, Orga? First, I'd like to get some recon. We had no idea where we... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. These guys are a little different. But they also tend to use beams, so that might not be too bad. What is that? It's the enemy. Run away, Mika. There's too many of them. Oh shit. <laughs> Orga. Ah, uh, you you did you did wrong. Shouldn't have did that. These guys aren't just targeting Mika. They're coming after me as well. Guess we won't be running away then. But I'll deal with them. I'm going to protect you. Mika. Let's go. Barbatos. Barbatos. But next turn, not right now. Right, what are you gonna do? No, I can just tailblade you for free. That works for me. There's nobody inside. It's like a mobile armor. But it's nothing that can like that bird from back then. I can do this. I already took that bird's tail. Fuck y'all, let's go. There sure are a lot of you up here. League is fighting well, but there's too many of them. What should I do? Should I take the role of bait and let Mika get away? No, it's pointless. I need to find a way for both of us to survive. Find somewhere safe, Orga. I'll manage somehow. What do you mean, somehow? There's still one thing Barbatos can do. Mika, you're not thinking of... I told you already, remember? The life that I have now was given to me by you, Orga. What that means is, I have to give everything I have for you. Mika, wait! Something else is coming! Yay! We got a bunch of fans here. Do some more gun to me choices this time around. I like that.
Detecting enemies in combat with a unit of unknown affiliation. Hang on, is that a Gundam? As though it's... There's no match for that machine on our database. Whoever they are, they must have been displaced through the DVD. But they're being attacked by the Quaesters. It has to be a Gundam from another world. It looks very different from our mobile suits. Do you copy, pilot? This is Commander Meets of a Grey Valley of the GKA. We're here to provide assistance. You heard them. What do we do? What else? We have to use everyone and everything if we want to survive. Got it. It looks like the unidentified machine has accepted our help. As unsociable as ever, huh? Is that the machine you told us about? Yeah, the one I met when I came to this world. All hands, form up around the unknown mobile suit and intercept the enemy. Stay sharp, Mika. There's no proof that these guys are on our side. I know. Oh, boy. Well, then. This is gonna be an awkward traversal. Man, that perspective is fucking with me. <laughs> man, oh man. and interact with each other. They interacted a little bit when we picked them up, but I don't know much beyond that. I don't think they've... They probably will have some sort of fix or tea together. I wouldn't be surprised. guys covering us seem to be part of some kind of army. Like Yalhorn, huh? People like these have the power to control the world through sheer force. We'll have to be careful. I mean, I've, I've been surprised at how much um, some of them, like Gillian, get to have some quick lines and stuff. And they, they do have a lot of, like, individual, like, missions and stuff. But I think beyond that, in terms of the story stuff, it kind of makes you wonder what the checklist looks like for some of these. Because there are a lot of situations where an XYZ person is in the party if they've technically been in another game together. And especially with the DVD folks. Um, they'll make mention of it and stuff like that.
so there's still like four of them over here. But... this dude Can't get nailed. <laughs> Kill on the crit. A biosensor. Yeah, like two more left in this spot.
Honestly, if I can give him some extra... That one down. Yo, <laughs> damn. Ace bonus already? Activates the zeal spirit when limiter off ex activates. Hold on a second. Fighter spirit. It's got the Vijnana system, but... None of that would have anything to do with him having something akin to, like, Proud Ace. I'm assuming once the Vijnana kicks in... He probably gets some other crazy shit, too. Oh, hostiles confirmed destroyed. <clears throat> it may look like a Gundam, but its fighting sounds unlike any mobile suit I've ever seen. So what now? Do we run away? No. I want to get all the information we can from them first. At the very least, these guys seem willing to talk, unlike those Galhorn idiots. The unidentified suit is rendezvoused with a man on foot. No ID on him either, ma'am. Judging by the conversation we've intercepted, they seem to belong to the same organization. Did he manage to get displaced without any sort of machine to protect him? Sir, do you copy? We in the GKA are tasked with protecting those in circumstances similar to yours. What sort of circumstances? We believe you have been displaced here from a parallel universe. What's a parallel universe, Orga? Search me, search me, Mika. But one thing is for sure. We've gotten ourselves into one hell of a mess. That's all we currently know about the phenomenon that brought you here. So you say we were displaced into a parallel universe. I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this. For what it's worth, you have my sympathies. Are we stuck here? As I explained, we're trying to investigate these dimensional incidents. Also, he's standing. Guess he's not that far along. And they gave him his canonical number of kills or whatever point in time he came from. Oh my god. He'd have a super ace <laughs> at that point. We should be able to gather information that would help you return to your world of origin. Hmm, is that so? On a different note, I don't even mean to pry, but is he alright? The right side of his body is paralyzed. That's just how things are when he's not inside the Barbatos. What do you mean? I mean that he's fine when he's inside Barbatos. That's all I'll say about it. I'd ask you to respect our privacy. How could you let him go into battle without a pilot suit? Please don't question our ways. No, this is a matter of human rights. Everyone deserves you enough, Reynold. Keep in mind they hail from a di world different than our own. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Huh, you, Reynold. What is it? You're a good man. Uh, thank you. Let's do this properly. My name is Orga Itsuka, and this is Mikazuki Agus. I'm the boss of Tekadon. Mika here is one of the members. Could you elaborate on what Tekadon is? We do a little bit of everything, though we mostly act as military advisors. So your private military company. Something like that. We have a few Gundam frames to our names, so we're in high demand. A Gundam what? Yeah, it's a specific type of mobile suit, like the one Mika pilots. Gundams and mobile suits. You see, those are things that also exist in our world. Say what? It's possible that our two parallel worlds are very similar to each other. Are you saying this world's a total crap hole too? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to say that. Don't worry about it. In fact, I agree that our world is quite the bit of room for improvement. You're different from what I expected, ma'am. Hmm, I get that a lot. There are other displaced persons who have joined the GKA. They're helping us in hopes of resolving the situation and returning to their homes. In other words, you're going to keep us in custody. If you're against the idea, we can take you to the proper military authorities. No, it's fine. We accept your offer. 
But don't, but we don't take charity. If we're staying here, we're going to earn our keep. You must know that we are an independent force fighting for the peace and freedom of. Save us the speech. If you're fighting a war, we'll help. In return, we only want the bare necessities and your help in returning home. Very well. We can formalize your cooperation as a contract if you like. Of course, you will have the right to refuse any orders that go against your moral code. You have a deal. This sounds good for you, Mika. If it's alright with you, then it's alright with me. Well, I think that settles it. Welcome aboard. We'll show you around the ship. I'll have a wheelchair prepared for your friend. No need for that. I'll carry Mika myself. Doesn't matter where we are, Mika and I will survive and make our way back to the others. And I'm willing to use the people to get there. Hmm. Orga is a supporter. Yo, we got nano laminate. More technology. Yeah, Mika did good. So both of those are pretty quick. We'll probably do one more. <laughs> Activate the charge spirit on all allies. Sell spirit for all allies on sortie. Okay. Wait, charge in wall, but not on all. So Ultraman's pretty far back in terms of overall mech strength since he's in a fucking power suit, so I guess that makes sense. Sight. Oh, that's pretty much just, yeah. That couldn't be much more up his alley. Not equal the man he calls seven iron bomb. Gusha and Bullet grit with uncertainty face a real, truly fearsome foe. Otherworldly Gundams. Yeah, let's do Iron Bonds. This will be the last one we do then. Yeah, maybe. So ask the Anonymous Chief... So ask the Anonymous Chief, maybe. What do you think? After having a look around its internals, I think I have a better grasp of what the Barbatos is built to do. <clears throat> Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. A mobile suit with the name of a demon. They didn't do that just to be cute, I bet. I get it needs the melee weapons to tear through nan nanolaminate armor, since the stuff repels beams, but... Brr, those things still give me the shivers. If you think those are scary, wait till you hear about the Alaya Vijnana system. The what now? To put it simply, it's a system that connects the pilots to their machine. What, like Saikimi or something? No, it goes much deeper than that. To pilot Barbatos, Mikazuki has to literally connect to it. Is that why Mikazuki's back looks like, you know, that? Yes. The pilot and the machine are linked on a neurological level through those implants. The pilot becomes one with the machine. Every bit of information the unit receives is sent directly to the pilot's brain. The mobile suit becomes the pilot's sensory organs. That's why Mikazuki can function inside the cockpit despite his nerve damage. That's amazing. This technology would give a new lease on life to people with crippling nerve injuries. I'm afraid I had to burst your bubble. 
Those terminals have to be implanted directly into the spinal cord. That kind of surgery is dangerous at best. Define dangerous? Look, I'm just gonna say it. It's downright inhumane. Um, excuse me. What do you want? I'd like to talk a bit if that's okay with you. Since we're going to be traveling together, I thought it would be good to get to know each other better. Sure. Oh wow, I was sure he'd say no. What do you want to talk about? Um, does your back hurt? I mean, because of those things. The Alaya Vishnana? It hurt during surgery, but that was a long time ago. But they don't bother you when you sleep? I just sleep on my side. Oh, I see. Um, er, <laughs> is there any place you'd like to go to? Maybe one of our world's tourist spots? I only go wherever Orga wants to. Do you mean your boss? That's how it's always been. It's so obvious he's lived a hard life. That must be why he's such a powerful bond with Orga. Did you need Mika for something? I would say I wouldn't say needed him. I just then don't go bothering us for no reason. We're not your friends. There's only a contract keeping us together. I understand. Ah, I guess they're not even GK can get taken on boy to open up, huh? They're similar in so many ways, so I figured she would do the trick. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Just leave it to me then. I'll give him some of my squid shiokata and Oh god, no. Puree of squid guts is not the way to go here. Well, speaking of food, it's almost lunchtime. How about you two join us, Orga? No thanks. In that case, we'll go on ahead. I hope we can talk again some time some other time, Mikazuki. What's wrong with these people? They all act so carefree. It's a lot of fighting going on in this war world too. They're right on the front lines, yet they don't seem to have a care in the world. Not that it matters to us. What do you want to do? We can leave if you don't like them. No, we should stick with them for now. These guys are so careless, it'll make things easier for us if something comes up. Besides, we need all the information we can get. It's possible others have been thrown into this world with us. Maybe they all made it. With that said, thinking back to when that black orb showed up, there's no way all of Tekadon would be there. I don't care about the GKA. I only want to regroup with whoever else made it here, then go back home. By any means necessary. Where's the ship going? I think they mentioned some place called... <laughs> Ninja... Ninja Mena? Hmm. In Africa. Apparently the DVD sh thing shows up often over there. Probably totally botched that name by the way. Iron Bonds. Maybe is on your ass if you try anything. Not to mention, she's probably trying to poke and prod at Mikazuki as it is. Also, hey, aha, there's a Kikaiju. So these guys got hired after they got found. Calm down, Shino. These guys are no pushovers. Yeah, it's a bummer, but I think thanks to them that we got that sweet security gig, you know? Can't argue with that. We got thrown into who knows where, so we ought to make a living the only way we know. Fighting for our lives. Now let's get to work. Yeah, there's no way we're dying here. I hear ya. We're going in, Ryu go. Gundam Gujin Rebake FC is meant for the front lines, while Gundam Flaros is suited for support. Hey, Akihiro. Fancy boy. Hey, you can reach from here. Hell yeah. Also, tends to get hit pretty easy, huh? And he has wall, but not persist. Bring it on, Kikaiju. Power means nothing if you can't use it. My goose is gonna tear you apart! It's very Ryoma. That's definitely one way to put it.
たならしは終わったか Problem is that I bet you most of his stuff outside of the MG is probably fire. He has to be、um, stationary for. Oh, wait, wrong mech. Here we go. A nice big target. Perfect for my r e u s e Go. Thanks, Kaiju. You're gonna put some food on my table. Pew 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 pew. Straight up, huh? Well, you got persist at least. Ow. Stop that. <laughs> oh, he's going to follow us, too. Hell yeah. Look at all those semi auto rifles. Dane's leave. Thankfully, we seem to be out in a pretty considerable field, so hopefully, we don't have any, <laughs> any side casualties here. Collateral. War crime gun away! That's a good point. I don't know how much that's gonna shave it on a regular, but I kind of want to find out. Oh, or it'll miss on a night. Wow, okay. Whatever, game. That's not too bad. They also don't have a lot of health because they're baseline right now, though, so. Still gotta be careful. Well, he might have to deal them an edge single attack. That's right. I gotta say, though, this isn't. Isn't this kind of sad that even in another world, we're still doing the same thing we did back home? There's one difference. Taking down the Kikaiju is actually going to make these people's lives better. So, like, we're heroes now? That ain't really our style. But honestly, I kind of like the sound of that. Come on, let's do this. Oh shit. The Quest of Dillers? What the? They got covering fire now? No, it's them. Those guys, huh? Yeah, they've been keeping an eye on us from a distance ever since we came to this world. They always gave me the creeps. Guess they finally decided to do something. They're unmanned units. Can't walk our way out of, talk our way out of this. Not like we were gonna listen to us anyway. There's too many of them. Heh. <laughs> Looks like it's time to pay the piper. But still, we're Tekadon. 
There's no way we're going to die here. You said it. As long as our blood runs red, we're gonna fight! Alrighty. Front guys will be close enough quite yet. That guy will probably be able to fire next turn. This is just normal. You mindless machines don't have what it takes to take us down. Hold it, Sheena. Something's coming. Hey. Them in there. That's pretty good. This is actually already got morale attack. Damn. Strap. Akihiro, Shino, are you alright? Orga! <laughs> I knew you'd be somewhere around these parts. It's not just me. Mika's here too. It seems those mobile suit pilots are part of Tekadon. Does that mean that those are Gundams? Orga looks very happy. Yeah, totally different than that surly face he gives us all the time. So Orga can show happiness after all. I wonder though. Maybe this is his real face, and he just keeps it hidden. All units, provide support for the Tekadon members. Akihiro, Shino, you good to fight? Damn right we are. Don't you know? We're heroes now. We fight for peace, justice, and good stuff. Justice. I like how they turned around like, hey! <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, well, you can't really, really. That's awkward. Program the Naman Evo Kikai Ka. Nikuno! Totta! みんなと一緒に戦うんだ。全部当ててみせる。力を試したことに意味があるのならば。
Oh my god, are you actually gonna be able to hit today? Yes! Get him! So much Daka! Yes! Justice. That's a word I never thought I'd hear them mention. Orga. Let's do this, Mika. We can't let them die now that we found them again. I know. We found our friends. Seven HP in a dream. Yeah. See him do the crunching. These guys give me the chills. They remind me of that mobile armor. If it's a fight you want, you got it. You'll regret underestimating my Gusion. Uh-oh. Give him the clamps. Huh. I don't know why you creeps have been spying on us, but I'm really ready to throw it down. Nobody makes fun of tacking on the Ryu say go and listen to tell the tale. Uh, time to grind in. Hey! Finish around the crit. Oosh. Ow. 
まま終われっかよ反撃に出るぞ一撃で決めるいけ I got beams too. They also just don't do a lot. Alright. <clears throat> got plenty of seas to go around for some of these waves, so I'm not too worried about that. You're a bear to me. It's kind of an odd line. Time to bully! I swear to god, just because they hurt him a little bit, blood in the water just fucking kicks in an AP trying to pick at him. Leave it alone. I don't think we've actually seen that one yet, so that's pretty cool. Get up. 
し今がチャンスだ超合体技タイガーファング<笑>エネルギー充填 120% タイガーファング発射ヘリア Oh, and the crit did it. <laughs> Good stuff. It's actually not going to be a finisher, so. Also, she. Yo! Finish. I was gonna say, we have to foresee, but I'm pretty sure none of them have flash. That'd be kind of crazy. And again, we also have a fucking um, other ship with intuition, so <laughs> maybe not too crazy. Time to barf some beams. Still not from there, damn. It's got like a really weird... Like attack bucket, more or less. Probably better to get in the bug. Okay. So about three left. He's about to f finish off one of them. I forget if we've seen Specie and Beam. I don't think so. But fuck it. Might as well give it to him. The other guys had to deal with a lot anyway. <clears throat> Size is not important. Nice.
Whee! It <laughs> just flies away. That's pretty good, though. It's over. No, not yet. We were contracted to take down the Kikaiju rampaging around these parts. Contact? Contracted. Are they using their Gundams to make money? That seems to be what Takadon is about. Captain, we're detecting what appears to be a Kaiju... A Kikaiju nest? A, a nest. <laughs> 20 kilometers northeast to our current location. It must be one of the production plants Dr. Hell erected here in Africa. Well, I guess production plants is another way to put it. If you're going to destroy it, we'll come with you. Suit yourselves, but we ain't sharing the reward. Not quite something a hero should say, don't you think? Your orders, Captain? We'll go, of course. The GKA must eliminate anything that threatens the people's peace and freedom. Peace and freedom, huh? I'm Akihito Outland, leader of Tekadon's second unit. I'm Norba Shino, leader of the first unit. Just call me Shino. I see you also don't wear anything above the waist while piloting. Now that's what I call a welcoming party. Where'd you find this babe, Orga? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Shino. She's the captain of the ship and the commander of this outfit. No kidding? Man, she's just like Kudelia. You've reported to your clients that the two of you have annihilated the Kikaiju army threatening this area. They were very pleased. They've asked us to convey their gratitude to you. Hmm. <laughs> Feels good to be thanks to once in a while. But you know, without the plant, there ain't gonna be no more Kikaiju. Which makes us out of work. Don't worry about it. These guys can hire you, like they hired me and Mika. Great, and we don't have to worry about food and shelter. Damn, though, you got some muscle on you. You must train a lot. Our bodies are all we've got. We have to keep them in shape. And again, people of this world don't seem to understand that. How long have you been in our world? Long enough. Did anyone else make the jump? I don't think so. We haven't seen anyone else. Not even rumors. I see. This world ain't so bad though, you know? The food's good, and the ladies are nice. And there's fighting too, so there's work for people like us. I'd hesitate to consider that a perk. You sure got used to our world real quick. When you're as smart and skilled as me, you can get used to anything. Smart and skilled my ass. First thing you did was try to steal some food, and I had to save you from an angry mob. Shush, you. That was just a, a bit of a blooper. Happens to the best of us. Let's hang out later, Orga. We'll tell you about all the adventures we got out to before you found us. Sure, I look here forward to hearing about your misadventures. <laughs> Are you smiling, Orga? Yes, I am. Seeing them again made me relax a bit. Orga. Be can relax in front of us, too. Maybe I shouldn't ask for the impossible. We'll be counting on you as always, Orga. Even in another world, you're still our boss. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you all home, I swear. Orga's a very good leader, isn't he? Yes, without him, we wouldn't have come this far. Without Orga, there's no Tekadon. Orga must be the same kind of figure for Mikazuki that Captain Mitsuba is for me. The two of us are much more similar than I first thought. I guess that's one way to look at it. Mars Palm. Because left the eye lost its shine. Yeah. Yeah, it would be the right eye. Alrighty. So you knocked out three. Let's see what else is going on though. Bale's inheritor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Plant and Lucifer. That's all the same? Okay. So we'll probably check out Bale's Inheritor and maybe Platinum Lucifer. Let's see what these two are about next time. I'm assuming that eventually it's going to fling us into the next emergency sortie, but we'll see when that happens. Try to wrap up, yeah. Do our save real quick. Move on to the screen, see what our outro is going to be for today. Hayato, Benke ga fushou shita naka, hitori de tatakau koto o ketsui suru Ryoma. Sono Ryoma no mae ni, hitori no shounen ga tachi fusagaru.
次回「スーパーロボット対戦サーティー」敵か味方か謎の少年ゴー<laughs> He's talking about yourself. He told to me, tiny pins on here. A little out of character, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, hopefully, we get to see more of those guys soon. We'll have to see once we get into some of the main, like, story stuff, what pops up. But until then, this is goodbye to these two people. Until next time.